How you feeling, Frank? You feeling good? Well, I'm going to take you to the vet and get you checked out anyways. Not only has Frank had the peeing issues, we want to double check and get his bladder checked out, make sure he doesn't have a UTI or a kidney infection or something along those lines. But he has a paw that has like a piece of the pad that's missing. It seems like it's getting infected, so rather than throwing chance to the wind, we're going to go in and at least get him some antibiotics for his paw and see if they can't figure out if he has a kidney or a bladder infection. So we know a lot of you guys are really worried about that and we really appreciate your guys' concern about Frank. We're worried about it too. That's why we're here at the vet, getting him checked out. So let's get inside and see if he's okay. All right, Frank, let's go in here and get you checked out, buddy. Medical piece just fine. Normal. Mm -hmm. Any coughing or sneezing? No. Concern you no vomiting. Mm -hmm. Pro hard. Pro hard. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and for fleas and ticks, anything? Frontline. Frontline. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In the middle of the, the main paw, paw pad. Toward like... his toes. Mm -hmm. Don't say anything. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, sweetie. Uh, That's yelling at me. How could I not? Okay. Uh, and is uh, he licking it a lot? Yeah. yeah. Do you happen to have a cone of shame? No, we don't have a cone of shame. We have a little boot okay. um, that we were using to try to prevent the licking. Okay. That helped a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yes. Can he use a cookie? Yeah. <laughs> so it sounds like Frank is good to go. Uh, they did a urinalysis, they did an ultrasound of his bladder, checked for our bladder stones, kidney stones, everything looks good. No in inflammation. Um, he's got a small cut on his pad. His pad is like a little scraped up. So we got some antibiotics and anti-inflammatories just to keep that monitored. We don't want that to get infected. And the vet will call us with any urinalysis results to see if there's a little bladder infection or a UTI, but Frank is in good spirits. He did great at the vet. I'm such a proud mom today. And now I think we're going to uh, move on with our day. I think that was a successful vet trip. We'll let you know if anything changes. We'll keep an eye on Frank, but all things looking up. And we're in Minneapolis now, so I don't know if it's the only thing to do, but we're gonna go hit the Mall of America. We're gonna go see how that turns out. Guys, quick update, Frank is dead. Just kidding. Just kidding. We're just doing some belly scratching. Oh, I found a spot. I found a spot. <laughs> Yes. Oh, no. Actually, we're doing great. We've been cuddling and hanging out all morning, just really keeping an eye on this guy. We want to make sure he's okay. It's rainy and humid and gross. Obviously, I'm wearing a hat, so you just know that my hair is in full Mufasa mode right now. So I think being indoors is probably the way to go for today. Little update on Harry. Harry's doing really well, and as you can see, he's got a little brother. Oh, come on, focus. Look at that guy just growing away. Pretty impressive, Harry. Pretty impressive. So, we're in Minneapolis. A big thing to do here. Let's check out the Mall of America. The Mall of America. We're only here for one day. It turns out it's raining outside, so kind of the perfect activity time to take advantage of malls, be mall rats. We're gonna walk. What are yeah. they called? Mall walkers. Mall walkers, yeah. <laughs> but this mall is like, kind of like a regular mall, but it's like freaking huge. Yeah. It is enormous. Like, you can probably see there's four stories behind me. And check this out. This is crazy. here when you're this far north. I think that this mall is literally built as like an outdoor playground for kids and adults when it's really cold in the winter time. So like your parents can go shopping, 
the kids can come play in the playground. I don't know uh, what parent would leave their kid in here by themselves though. These rides are for kids, but they're still pretty dangerous. Parents that are sick of having their kids kept up in their house all winter long. Yeah, that maybe. is who. <laughs> Let's go wander around the mall and see what kind of stores they have here. Okay. Some new kicks today. Yeah, I think these are awesome. Yeah, but did they look like this for that long? We're not buying anything that you know of. If I ever lose Allie, I always know where to find her. At the sale rack. You like this? It looks so cozy. Looks like a grandma blanket. A cozy grandma blanket. Maybe this one? I'm listening. You're listening? <laughs> Alright guys, we just went into the North Face store. We ran into Rory and Rory told us, what the heck are you guys doing in the mall? Minneapolis has way more exciting things to be doing outside and even though it is raining a little bit i think we're going to listen to those recommendations yeah for sure you know that we're about more than just malls so i think we're going to go get outside maybe visit some taco places breweries waterfalls and trails definitely going to be a fun time i think we're going to hit up a place called mini haha -ha. just because of the name i want to go there <laughs> but i guess there's some waterfalls some cool places we can take frank so let's head to mini haha -ha. cool all right, we just got to Mini Ha Ha Falls. Frank is super stoked. He has to wear a little booty because he's got a little cut on his paw. Now he's got the running shoes on. Well, let's go find these falls. and that there wouldn't be anything to see here. But of course, the waterfalls are glorious. I'm so glad you came. Thank you, Rory, for the recommendation. Minnehaha is pretty sick. The waterfall is really cool. I would say, yeah, it's like a 30-foot waterfall. Sounds like a horse galloping. This is actually really nice. There's a bunch of walking trails. It's pretty open and very east coasty to me. It feels like obviously the humidity is here, but just like the plants and the foliage and the colors, reminiscent of home. Well, we're heading back to the van because we're hungry. And I think we might go hit a brewery. We hear the craft brew scene is out of this world. Yeah, Rory told us there's over a hundred breweries just in the Twin Cities area. Yeah. So we're going to look some up on Yelp, try and find a good one, and go get ourselves a brew. And we'll see you at the brew. We are at Northbound Smokehouse. And brewery. And brewery. No one's sitting outside. Come to a brewery, definitely the best way to taste beers is to get a flight. Then you get at least four flavors of beer. You really get a flavor for how good the brewery makes beer. You get a taste of different profiles. It's definitely the best way. Allie loves her salad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now it's bedtime. <laughs> now we're gonna head to... Wisconsin time. Let's go see Trent's sister, get back in the car, drive another many, many hours, and then we get to hang out with some fun people. Beautiful. Hello. Oh, hi. 
What you doing? Can we take a nap? So I just got a phone call from the vet. We're really excited to hear that Frank's urinalysis came back clean. He doesn't have a bladder infection or a UTI. It sounds like he's in the clear. We're just really happy to know that he's okay. We're gonna continue to keep a close eye on him and make sure he's drinking and eating normally and going to the bathroom, kind of on a schedule, just making sure he's got that routine in his life that he needs and uh, continuing to, to listen to him and just try to understand him and be there to meet his needs as best we can as, as puppy parents. So as you can see, <laughs> we turned a city that we didn't really know much about on a rainy day where it didn't seem like there was a lot to do into a pretty fun adventure. Yeah, I had a great time. We had a good day. Yeah. We finished it off with some good food, some good brew, and I got a new shoes. New shoes day. I'm gonna stop with the rhymes. Anyways. <laughs> that was a rhyme. <laughs> no matter where you are, who you are, where you live, you can find something fun to do too. So get out and have a good time today. We wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hit that like button, smash it if you want to. Subscribe if you're not already to Trent and Allie. We would super appreciate that. And we will talk to you soon. See you on the next one, guys. Bye.